Jesus. Oh, 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 Welcome back guys, we got something special today, mainly because a lot of people have recommended we do this and we haven't watched it yet. Yep, we're finally getting around to watching, this is the most iconic moments from the show Taskmaster. A <laughs> uh, ton of you guys have recommended this to Apparently us. Apparently it's a big deal over there, but um, we've never heard of it. I have read some comments in previous comedy videos we've done. It is true that yes, especially as Americans, we are... Deprived. Well, not just that, but there's like a decade's worth of British comedy that we'd have to really oh, watch. Gosh, yes. There's so many shows, but we're trying. We're trying to just kind <laughs> of dip our toe in and enjoy what we can understand and hopefully maybe at some point delve deeper into this and maybe make it more of our full-time comedy that we watch. Just British comedy instead of Nothing American. Nothing else. We're just going to... Full transition, you know. Yeah. Just... And then give us 10 years and then we might be able to be on your guys' level. Anyway, that's what we're doing here today. Most iconic moments from the show Taskmaster. Uh, that was a tongue twister. Uh, someone, sent it, someone sent this to us on Discord. So make sure to go check out the channel's Discord. And, and Great for suggestions. Great because we usually will watch those. So keep that in mind. And also you can feel free to hit us up on Instagram. All that information is down below. If you guys are new to the channel and like American Reactions, uh, please consider subscribing. And with that being said, let's get right into the video and check it out. That's a really cute house. Music reminds me of Sherlock Holmes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean the show Sherlock? Yeah. Elementary? Yeah. No, Sherlock. The British. Oh. Benedict Cumberbatch. Was you it know called Sherlock? Music? Yeah, it was just called Sherlock. Okay, I don't remember. <laughs> this? Yes, please. Hey. Johnny. It's trap, is it? If it's make a baby, I'm gonna win. <laughs> Joe Wilkinson, nice. Make the best music video for a nursery rhyme. You have one hour, and your time Ooh. starts now. That's <laughs> difficult. Can't think of any nursery rhymes. You've got kids, come on. What do you sing to them? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah. Hey, diddle, diddle, of course. The cat did a piddle, we used to sing at school. To hey, diddle, diddle, <laughs> the cat did a piddle. Yes. <laughs> Oh, so they're watching. Oh, okay. The... That's interesting. So they kind of react to their own. Well, I don't know. Process, I, 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 guess. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't gone that far, but piddle. Our movies. Yes. Okay. All over the kitchen floor. <laughs> a little doggy laughed to see such fun, so the cat did a little bit more. <laughs> Is that one? Peanut, peanut on a railroad track, heart all a flutter. Along comes a great big train, choo choo peanut butter. Okay. You okay, Jack? <laughs> um, thinking, uh, you'll find you really distracting. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm all over it. None of us know that song, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I've never heard that. It's clearly a fever dream you want. <laughs> <laughs> Richard was the only one who didn't know any nursery rhymes off the top of his head. Why don't you know any nursery rhymes? You were born at 32, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, well, I, was, I, was, I was born at six foot one, but I was, uh, I was a normal age. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think the stress of the task. It's awful, isn't it, when you mm. open that envelope? Mm. Uh, that's and fine. It... <laughs> uh, it's uh, Doc Brown next. Precious on Doc. Doc Brown. What's up, kids? You know a lot of these nursery rhymes chat pure gibberish, fantasy. This one's got some real talk for you, yeah? Hashtag true story. Yo, it goes one, two to the three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, I said six, seven to the eight, nine, ten. Then I let that little prick go again. You say, oh, you let it go. Motherfucker bit my finger, bro. Which finger did it right? This thing. It's a Charlie bit my finger thing. Oh really? I think so. I think that's what he was tying into it. Finger wrong. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Give that the fish bit it. Huh? I think that was supposed to be a nursery rhyme though. Yeah. What the? You know British culture. They cuss a lot. I mean, what's your problem with fish, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Not fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not fish, man. Not egg, man. 
I mean, it was, I should say, we filmed that, it took an hour. There was genuine, it was a mixture of blood and fake blood. Why helps. were you bleeding? Well, because I punched that salmon <laughs> in its face so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I had scales off the fish that were embedded into my actual uh, hand. I'm not sure oh, it's in the spirit yeah. of the original nursery rhyme, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it was really good, <laughs> wasn't it? So he's the taskmaster. I guess I I don't know anything about the show. Really. Okay. <laughs> Someone just says this to us on Discord, like top moments. So, so now it's cutting to another task, I think. Yeah, I probably should have looked up how the show runs. <laughs> up to you. Up. It seems like a challenge. Oriented. Hello. Oh, now there's exciting. Ah. Oh. You just don't understand fashion. <laughs> I'm ready for the party. Make the most exotic sandwich. You have ten minutes to plan your exotic sandwich. Then ten minutes to construct it. Your time starts now. Right. She's in British Britain. What do you think exotic oh. means? That to me says maybe fillings that have never been seen in a sandwich before. Um. Okay. Okay, you just you do get the test masters like they have British comedians. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. That's what they're for. Um. Okay. Turkish delight. That's very exotic. It's gone all sweet. Mm. Heck, everyone's going to go savoury, aren't they? Then a crunchy bar. Then a Kit Kat. <laughs> then a double decker. <laughs> That's like an actual theatre. Yeah. I want to start with Mel. She mm -hmm. looked very excited, and I'm keen to see her sandwich. Okay, she did say before she started, I want to blow the Taskmaster's tiny mind. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. All right. Chocolate spread. Good layer of the chocolate orange. Oh, my Little bread ski. Double deckers. Oh, yeah, it's oh. all the crunchy. Three minutes. Three minutes? What? Let's do some m &Ms. Maltese. I can see why people get stressed out on these cookery shows. This is absolutely appallingly stressful. Just bronzing up the marshmallows. For the whole loaf of bread. That to me is like a, a sort of Japanese pagoda. Can I give you this as well, Mel? Just, yes. Um, to say thank you. Is that for me? Yes. Thank you. Eat your exotic sandwich, fastest wins. Oh, no! <laughs> Final one, please, now. What's the task, say, now? Time starts now. Okay. Oh my gosh, just the bread alone. <laughs> like, all the stuff she put on by itself doesn't sound bad. Except for the like Turkish the Deckers, I do not like Turkish Kit Kats and everything, they sound good. I can't, yeah, I cannot do that. No. Nope. It's too much. It's I don't think I can too much. I love one Nutella. Sl slice of it. Yeah, God, that's like a heart attack, diabetes. She's just like, just I, I call fail right now. Okay, so yeah. What's the task, say, now? Time starts now. Okay. Okay. Oh, gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going for it. I'm trying. Face. I'm curious if there's like a cash prize or something. I'm sure. Again, we might just have to look up when we're done. Or it could so be something more. silly, like I think with Countdown they win a teapot. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know. She's like, I've got something at my mouth. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> What is it like? I never. <laughs> you just got blood. Oh, no. oh. I can't do any more than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so Those showbiz nights, eh? Slitting <laughs> <laughs> M&Ms. Only blue ones. Only blue ones. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> is it exotic, that sandwich? It's sort of... I mean, it's instant diabetes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Thank you. it was... Uh, Turkish Delight, Crunchy Kit Kat, Double Decker Twix, Snickers, M&M's, Icing Sugar, Marshmallows, Chocolate Eggs, Chocolate Oranges, Nutella and a Blowtorch. I suppose it's sort of... <laughs> it's sort of exotic. They have a look of bread. They do like you the meals. I know. Tea. Tea. Slightly struggled with the door handle out. I wonder if that might be the task. <laughs> Big fan of tea, so this is a real Scottish. boost to me. Right. Throw a tea bag into a mug from the furthest distance. You have exactly one hour. No, oh, Ramesh. Your time starts mm -hmm. now. I reckon I'll be pretty good at this. Played a lot of cricket in my youth. It's the longest part of the house. How would I get into the mug? I mean, I'm just thinking about length. I'm not thinking about any accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest part of that? Alex, you see uh, Tim Key entered this. <laughs> OK, <laughs> here is uh, Mr Tim Key's attempt. Well, I'd like a... Um, I'd like a catapult. But the other thing I want is one of those things that um, you throw balls with if you're a dog owner. And also, sorry, can I get a tennis ball? So I worry <laughs> I'm not going to be accurate over, like, the... 50 metres. So what I need to do, in addition, is build some kind of thing with a sheet, which is like a, um, you know, like a cup funnel, mm -hmm. where oh if the ball hits, I just have to hit the sheet and it will go into the cup. <laughs> so all they're trying to do is get a tea bag. Yeah. Into a cup from the longest distance. Yes. Okay. So whoever gets the longest successfully, I guess, wins. I guess. Why do you have tea? Tim, you got a tennis ball. Yeah, it's a tennis ball in there. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, that looks dangerous. in the tennis ball. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It technically counts. That was actually, okay, I was kind of making fun of it, but that was really good. <laughs> and now it makes, now it makes sense why I'd he buried it. I'd be very surprised if he didn't win that. Well, it makes sense why he buried it, too. Yeah, so everything would go down. Yes! Yes! Curry's by the board. Incredible! Uh, give us some uh, facts of this. It was a new world record, um, presumably. It was uh, 23 metres and 87 Whoa. centimetres. It was the first row, first row. Bonk. This wow. is an open and shut case. The winner of the first task tonight, Mr. Tim Key. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll fell down. Relevant? Has he got a name? Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for this. <laughs> Get this camel through the smallest gap. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. So basically, so you, you want me to birth Stuart. <laughs> Get this camel. Get this camel. Get this camel through the small. Get this camel through the smallest. Well, I know what all the words mean, but together, <laughs> I find them confusing. <laughs> Mercifully, no one did decide to, uh, I understand, attempt to birth the camel. <laughs> OK, so this is uh, the final attempt. Mel Gedroich and a camel. Right. OK. Right. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Come on. Come on, gang. Let's do it. Red light. Two minutes, 20. Right, I can see the high road. This is good. The shops are there. Brilliant. Uh, You've seen it, it's over there. It yeah, is tiny. One minute, one minute. Okay, it's absolutely tiny. The gap score. <laughs> Not a word on the gap. That's baby gap. <laughs> Wait, how did you know? I've never the heard smallest that. gap. Gap store. It's like an old baby, it's a clothing store. Okay, I don't. <laughs> yeah. You got it through. What time is it? 
is it? Where is it? Yes! Yes! Can we go? Yes, let's go back. Okay. Well, they're not showing all of them. They're yeah. just showing obviously the best one. Yeah. Well, I could ask a question. Is there a smaller gap than Baby Gap? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Gap is the smallest in the brand. And therefore, she took the camel through the smallest gap possible. Yes, and the security cameras will have recorded Mel Gedroich running in with the camel and running out again. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, I thought it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make Mel the winner. Okay. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> a tie-break task. And this time, uh, we got them to open a jar of mayonnaise. Unfortunately, I spilt Vaseline all over the jar before they opened it. So here is the mayonnaise tie-break. Interesting. Just feel like I might need them. Open this jar. The jar may not leave the lab. Fastest time wins. Your time starts now. Am I allowed to do the task if I think I know what the task is without looking at the task? You do whatever you want, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, so there's a time of zero seconds. <laughs> the winner of this episode, <laughs> Mr. Joe likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it there's just, not very many rules. It just wasn't allowed to leave the little uh, tank okay, thing. Oh, okay, but he can little. bring those in. So, yeah. Mr. Joe likes it. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Oh, my. Thank you for asking. No one ever asked me that. Oh. We're going on well. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we've we've bonded. Make the largest of. I think that was a girl from IT Crowd. I don't recognize anyone so far. Bonded. Her. Make the largest object properly vanish. Largest object to properly vanish wins. You may not use any editing trickery. I don't know any editing trickery. <laughs> well, one yeah, hour, right. your time starts. There should be one more word. It's vanished. Mate, that's so clever. I mean, it can be, it doesn't have to be in this room, right? Mm -hmm. They make the largest object properly vanish. Is that me? No. That sofa's bigger than me. <laughs> so let's discuss Ooh, what properly vanish means. Okay. <laughs> to vanish. So it's zero points for everyone. This must oh, be during COVID. I was just going to say, yeah, uh, <laughs> I was wondering. So let's discuss what properly vanish means. Okay. To vanish. So it's zero points for everyone yeah. again this time, Greg. <laughs> well, because, you know, it's not possible to make something properly vanish. Oh, that's why we... In <laughs> your opinion. That's, that's why we need to discuss it in advance, okay. Richard. It's to, to vanish is to disappear suddenly and completely. Let's just agree. It, it, it's, it's just going to have to look like it's vanished. <laughs> Otherwise, it's no points again. This is going to be the shittest series of all time. <laughs> The winner's going to be Daisy because she bought some. <laughs> she bought a bottle of wine. In. <laughs> you see that show? It went on for ten weeks, <laughs> and one, one woman, a woman won a prize because she bought some wine. In. She didn't even collect it because she was giving birth. <laughs> Final person to see is Mawan. Here we go. Come on, Mawan. Behold, a large animal. Now you see it. Now you still see it, but maybe you're looking at the wrong animal. Where'd the cow go? Oh, that's the head help. <laughs> Are you watching? I sort of, I understand what we were supposed to do now. Yeah. How did he push it into the hedge in that short amount of time? <laughs> You'd already beaten Daisy by putting the duck behind her. <laughs> <laughs> how did he do it, though? I'll show you how he did it. There was no camera trickery. There was some trickery, like this. You're looking at the wrong animal. Ah! No. Nice. Where'd the cow go? The cow was never there. That's brilliant. I mean, come on. Thanks. I don't usually milk things, but, you know, when you oh. know the idea... Hey, <laughs> cow go. 
I didn't even know I was doing that. That's actually really good. That was pretty good. That actually reminds me of like one of those uh, Zach King videos. Yeah. Was really Except fun. he does a lot more editing with his. Yeah, true, but I mean, that okay. was really good. <laughs> I didn't even know I was doing that. <laughs> Hello. 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 You? Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, right. Do, you, do, you, do we... Do we strike you? <laughs> Should I take the task from the stage? <laughs> Would you like to? Yes, I suppose so, yeah. I'll, I'll take the task. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we can so do this. I write and perform a song about this woman. Best yeah. song wins. You have five minutes to talk to the woman. And then 30 minutes to write her a song. The time starts now, so we need to gather as much information okay. as we can. Hi, so what's your name? Rosalind. Where are you from originally? Southport. What do you do for a living? Yeah. Um, Japanese translator. Do you have children? Yes, got two sons. Two, are they good men? Yes, Wait, they're a bit inept at things, but that's fine. So what do you do to pass yeah. the time? I'm an athletics <laughs> official, track judge, and I do long jump and uh, the sprints. Long jumper. Damn. She's athletic. Yeah. Athletics official, track judge, and I do long she's jump and uh, the sprints. She's, she's a judge. Long oh, jump, oh, yeah. leaping. Well, who's your favourite band of all time, music Good idea. Might lead us to some music. Good idea. Oh, like Mozart. 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 One of my favourite so bands as well. well. Have you stolen much in your life? Yeah, well, when I was about ten, I used to do a little bit of sort of sweetie shoplifting with my best friend, Elaine. I also play the cello. Great. So, Do you play the cello yeah. with anyone or anyone? Yeah, string quartet, yeah. My, my husband and a couple of friends. And what's the name of your... Um... My husband is called Alan. And did you ever do it in public or was it just... Yeah, it's not normally when people are sitting in rows watching. It's, yes. It's just the sound. Do you eat meat, Rosalind? Um, as long as it's kosher. Which ah. sort, what's your favourite meat? Chicken, I suppose. Chickens. Mm. What's uh, your favourite film? Oh, Hangover. Hangover 1 and 2. Oh, favourite food? Mm. Oh, Beans on Toast. Yeah, quite right. Can I ask, are the other two in the string quartet, are they a couple as well? They used to be. And then oh. one got um, septicemia, so he lost the use of three fingers in his left hand. Would you like to be able to fly? No. <laughs> Bob's first four questions. Do we strike you? <laughs> Have you ever stolen? <laughs> what is your favourite meat? Would you like to be able to fly? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, he had... The first question, though, I just... Like, I what? even knew what the task was. I know, we I'm, strike you? Like, what kind of question is that? <laughs> what kind of games does he play? Would you like to be able to fly? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, he had teammates to take up the slack. <laughs> <laughs> do you see uh, Mark and Nish first? Yes, I do, please. OK, so this, for the first time ever, is Mark and Nish's Song for a Stranger. Hello, Great Britain. Hello. How are you all feeling out there? <laughs> We're all fine, thank you. <laughs> and now's the time you've huh? all been waiting for. <laughs> the band. But... Good, good evening, London. <laughs> uh, we are the, uh, the Diverse Stripes. I am Jack Brown, and this is my wife's sister, Mark. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm always seeing you, open brackets, do cool stuff. Close bracket. All right. And one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. I saw you translate a poem from Japanese. It looked so tricky, but you did it with ease. I saw you judging long jump at the athletics. I felt so low, cause it's born, I'm just pathetic. I'm always seeing you do cool stuff. I try my best, but it's never good enough. I saw you watch the Hangover DVD But I was busy with the Hangover Part 3 I saw you listening to the Mozart Symphony But my attention span is, hey, look at that tree <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four I'm always seeing you do cool stuff I try my best but it's never Good enough I wanna serve you beans on toast but it's a fantasy, it's nothing but a boast 
You come from Southport, I live miles away in Ballam And I'm a coward and I feel a rather violent I'm always seeing you do See cool, you stuff. cool stuff I try my best but it's never Good enough Good enough One more time I'm always seeing you do cool stuff I try my best but it's never Good enough. That's probably not bad at all. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin. Also, I'll just be like, oh my gosh. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, who would have thought Mark Watson was a drummer? I, I, I think you may have just sh shaken off the whole heron thing. <laughs> I had no idea. No idea Nish could sing or play guitar. That was a, a miracle, I think. <laughs> and all that time, she just sat there, absolutely no expression on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's the first time in an entire series where I've got nothing negative to say to you. <laughs> Congratulations on your brilliant song. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I literally was crying laughing. That was so funny there at the end. I don't know who that one guy was who <laughs> said those four comments. Well, I, I Did we beat her? No, do you strike her? Do we strike Which her? Which is an interesting way to phrase it. <laughs> Definitely could watch more of that for sure. Yes. I think if we watched a full episode, we get a little bit more context. Is Add that, that to the it? list of things we need to watch. True. Uh, but comedians are just great. In general, but then getting them all together, like yeah, I think that's brilliant. Is great. Why doesn't America have more of these kind of shows of just comedians coming together? Probably because we don't play well together. Oh, but I haven't, so good, I haven't come across one though. Maybe, maybe you guys are just way more brilliant at they're, it. They're just special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, yeah, definitely thank you for recommending Taskmaster. We will add it to our list of things that we Must need to watch. check out. We'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely a very, very interesting show. Yes, I loved it. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Let us know, as always, what you guys thought down below, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Right now, we need to take a break because my tummy hurts from laughing too much. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll see you guys later, and please be safe. Look after one another and be safe. All right. <laughs>